Hey y'all, um, it's me again. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I've made any videos. I've been up to a lot of no good and a lot of the good. So, you know, it's fucking 6.38 right now in the morning. I'm tired as fuck. December 6th, North Alabama. 70 fucking degrees outside. 70 degrees, okay? Um... Yeah, this video is probably going to be a rambling video. got multiple things I guess I could talk about, or I can use my brain and break it down. But anywho, anywho, let me get to the point. Uh, I just got a message in my inbox this morning. Somebody was nice enough to send me a Jesus link, you know, a church link. And um, I hated it. I hated it. I ain't going to lie. I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. Um, so I figured I'd make a video about people that like to send me religious um, messages, because I'm not really down with the whole religious messages thing to me, I'm really not, uh, it's a form of division, and I'm all about unifying, you know, unity, not division, so, uh, let's check it out, um, everybody wants me to believe in your little Bible book, right, your basic instructions before leaving earth. Um, y'all should really read that damn thing. Honestly, you should read that book. Um, Matthew 10.34. That's a good place to check out. Read that, motherfucker. Um, because that's why I don't believe in Jesus, is Matthew 10.34. So, if any of y'all Jesus freaks want to jump my shit because I don't believe in your God, then, uh, read your book before you come and attack me, okay? Uh, now, you're... God, uh, that you have given a name, uh, you should check it out too, because, uh, I'm trying to figure out the exact part in there, but God says, uh, dang it, I'm trying to remember the damn exact quote, but what it is, is he says, if you were to beat your slave, and your slave were to stay alive for that day, and then that night, but died the next day, you were not considered a murderer. If you were to beat your slave, and your slave were to die that night or that day, you would then be considered a murderer and punished by death. So that's God's take on owning slaves. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying here? It says, you can own slaves. Not only does it say that you can own slaves, but your God also claims that you can beat your slaves. Come on, y'all. Come on. Really? You know, I can understand wanting to believe in a higher power and all this and that and the other. Okay, that, that's all fine and dandy. But whenever you start quoting your book that's been fucking created by man... And you try to use that as ammo against me or something. You know, you're really barking up the wrong fucking tree. Um, that book <clears throat> is completely full of shit. Okay, just let you know. It has a lot of, um, what would I say, good messages. You know, it has a lot of good morals in it. But then again, it has the Songs of Solomon in it. Now... To all y'all thumpers out there, Bible thumpers out there, have y'all read the Song of Solomon? Now, I think it's funny because at church I heard that they don't have, you know, they don't talk about women in the Bible. And yet there's Mary and Mary Magdalene and, you know, some other people, right? And then there's the fucking hooker, okay, that prostitute that Song of Solomon is about. It's about a prostitute. So, yeah, yeah, go ahead and follow your book, because that book has been so good to the world's population so far. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I hate it. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, more power to you if it creates a good higher power. But honestly, the Bible is a placebo. Okay, it's a placebo. All right? So, any of y'all that think that I'm wrong, yeah, you can go ahead and gather your League of Extraordinary 
fucking fairy tales and come combat me. You know what I'm saying, go ahead and bring Jesus down here with the tooth fairy and the Easter bunny and the candy man, the boogeyman, the sand man, and all that shit. Why don't you bring your Cyclops and Thor over here while you're with it? Um, I just morning rant, morning rant, morning rant. I might end up starting making some more videos on this channel. Uh, I don't know. It all depends on what kind of beautiful hate mail I get back. Because I do miss my trolls. I miss my trolls, I ain't gonna lie. The motherfuckers pissed me off so much now. You know, I feel like at ease. I don't know, it's weird. Well, I'm gonna cut it out. Five minutes and 38 seconds. Y'all have a good one.